This is a really well designed, well put together craft. Uh, Emacs makes Emacs it really tempting to actually really go this route because, because there's no. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff about, about this phrase. It seems like it has a lot of things to do with it. Overall, this is a better one. I think it's going to be This frame and this design, the whole setup was designed by Brandon Cruz, and it's really, really well put together. Uh, hi, I'm Brandon Cruz. I'm a product designer at Emacs USA. The Baby Hawk R was something that's kind of close to me as far as I love micros, and I've always wanted a micro that flies like a five inch, something that I can take to the park and just rip with. Um, so that was the main thing in designing the, the Baby Hawk R was to give it a feel of a five inch. The main differences between the original Baby Hawk and the Baby Hawk R was the original Baby Hawk was kind of designed to be in kind of more in an entry level product to get people get into FPV racing at a basically easier scale, like it's smaller than a five inch and with the prop guards it allowed you to fly it indoors and relatively safely. Um, and it was designed to be very low, low, low maintenance and then basically very easy to, um, to fly. And it came with, you know, some very simplified auto level and stuff like that so but whereas the baby hawk r the goal was mainly for racing um, basically take the speed and basically performance that was kind of you know not there in an entry level product and kind of just really up the game and uh, so <clears throat> the baby hawk r at the heart of it it starts with a power system that's basically designed um, from the ground up to run uh, three to four S batteries, which the original Baby Hawk was basically limited to two S. Um, and the next thing on the Baby Hawk R is is the RS1106 motors, um, which on the two inch Baby Hawk R is 6,000 kV, uh, which is about a thousand kV more than the uh, original Baby Hawk 1104s. And these little motors are just total powerhouses. They put out a ton of thrust. Um, in comparison to the original Baby Hawk and basically allows it to get to speeds that are very comparable to the 5 inch, especially if you're running it on 4S. Um, the next major difference, I guess we'd say, is, is actually the propeller design. Um, the propeller design is really a quad blade prop that's going to give us a little more control and it was uniquely designed to match the performance of the motor and the power system. Um, and the, the other main things would probably be the frame design. This is, while well, this is a, a fully plastic uh, frame, uh, the Baby Hawk R uses a, basically a mix, uh, a carbon racing frame with replaceable arms, um, but with a plastic shell that allows us to do, you know, some pretty cool um, industrial design as far as the shape of it to make it look unique, and allowing us to put it, make it in colors that, um, allows you to customize your drone so and the next big thing I, I think on the baby hawk r that makes it more suitable for racing is the camera we we definitely wanted to have a step up from the micro cameras and the baby hawk um, we went with a ccd camera versus cmos and the ccd camera basically gives you this micro ccd has the same um, visual clarity and this image that you're used to in your five inch racing quad so from the pilot's point of view, when you're looking in through the goggles at this, this, this little quad it looks, the, vis the visuals look it, and then the performance feel like a much bigger quad. Our first goal was basically to have a very high level of performance on this micro. Um, so I've spent a lot of time building micros from you know, all different components and trying bits and pieces here and there, but we really, to get the, to meet our goal, we really needed to make a very holistic approach, starting from the power system and working our way out. Um, the next big goal was to make the product um, basically customizable, uh, like a platform that can allow you to upgrade or change the look of it. Um, so the, the reason why we went with most micros have a, a unibody construction, with the forearms are separate. Well, with the Baby Hawk R, we made sure that the arms were separate um, because for future upgrade, we would like to make this thing to able to scale it up to, from two inch to two and a half to three inch, and who knows? Um, 
we're working on different sizes that you can go with this small package. Um, and the next thing would probably be the, the customizations you're going to get by going with injection molded plastics. One of the biggest challenges was a way to minimize vibrations in a micro drone because typically micro drones they suffer from a lot of vibration and it kind of really ruins the flight performance especially when you're getting at the very um, higher levels of speed like on 3S, 4S um, those all came into play and one way we tackled that was, was adding um, vibration dampening um, to the flight controller kind of it was built into the frame so our our mini magnum stack would basically be isolated from the majority of the vibrations coming in from from the frame um, another thing to combat vibration was actually uh, going to a little bit thicker arms made out of three millimeter which made the arm stronger but also kind of reduced some of the vibration going into the flight controller since the, the arms were stiffer and didn't flex as much as two millimeter um, and of course the propeller uh, having a very well balanced propeller um, helped a punt ton. Um, a lot of micro propellers out there when they're testing suffered from imbalance from the factory so we worked very hard to make sure this this tiny two inch propeller came from the factory balanced very well. So the Baby Hawk R, who is this for? Um, I kind of see this, the Baby Hawk R, its performance is is really great so I really do see this as like um, someone's you know that maybe is just who's into FPV already and wants a FPV racer that you can actually fly in more places. I know it's sometimes um, flying five inch quadcopters is not always the easiest thing to do these days, um, finding locations. Um, but with these little micros, um, it kind of opens you up to fly in spots that you never thought would be possible for, tighter areas, zip around your house. And it's, it's really good because you can get the full FPV race experience on such a small little quadcopter. Um, and also at the same time, the, the product is, if you are just getting started into FPV, um, since it is RTF and ready to build, um, and it comes, if you buy it in the uh, bind and fly uh, package, it's really easy just and a low cost way to get into FPV racing um, without having to invest in, in a lot of extra money for about $150 you can get a pre-built racer that you can certainly learn on and uh, practice before going into like a bigger quad. At Emacs we worked really hard at making the Baby Hawk car high quality and affordable and foremost fun so I truly believe you guys will enjoy this product.